Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Leah? Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy at the foundation. Leo, I feel like you're moving towards some sort of new beginning. This could have something to do with your living situations. It is at the root chakra, which is the foundation, the stability of the reading. But it could really be anything in relation to to the foundation of your life. It could be jobs, it could be living situations, it could be relationships in your life that play a very integral role. It could be very important relationships in your life. But whatever this is here, there's some new beginning that you've either stepped into or you're getting ready to step into in the near future. There's a lot of momentum behind this. It's like there's this really excited energy. You're seeing your way forward. It's also an energy of you really aligning with your higher self. It's an energy of you being initiated into some sort of spiritual awareness in your life. I feel like you're having a lot of ideas as well. This could be related to your career path or how you want to build your life moving forward after a time of being very stuck and stagnated. All of a sudden, you break free and you just have this flood of inspiration and ideas come through to you. There's a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of power behind whatever this Ace of Wands, this new beginning, is representing in your life. What do we have at the Sacral? Wow, Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Leo you are in perfect alignment with your higher self, or this is the energy you're moving towards. This is an energy of triumph. It's also an energy of you following the divine law that your life, spiritually speaking, is stabilized in. In other words, Leo, this is you following your higher guidance precisely, methodically. There's an energy here of raw power. You actually thinking clearly about your future. It's an energy of mental clarity. And it's an energy of victory. But this has come after a lot of trials and tribulations, Leo. Okay, you had to fight to get here. You also had to overcome a lot of stress, a lot of mental blocks and confusion that these cycles brought into your life, Leo. Whatever this is you're moving towards is very well deserved. And this is right at your sacral. So this is a very passionate, creative energy. I feel like this is all connected, this Ace of Wands and this Ace of Swords. It really is an energy here of you just seeing your way forward, the divine clearing the path for you. I just saw a herd of black stallions in my mind's eye. I feel like that represents you right now, Leo. Like black beauty kind of energy that may mean something to some of you. Maybe some of you have horses or do something with horses or feel connected to horses, something like this. Or it could be an energy where you feel very connected to animals, Mother Nature, just very, very high vibrational, very beautiful connected energy, connected to the earth and all its creatures. I feel I'm channeling that through, Leo, because... This is you just really having a different understanding of life. You see the bigger picture. You see how the ecosystem works in our life, Mother Nature. And I feel that this, they wanted me to say revelation, came to you once you started to realize that the cycles you were in that were keeping you feeling very mentally blocked an energy of chaos keeping you in this energy of setbacks and delays, always making you feel weighed down by life, are all byproducts of the matrix. So simply put, Leo, this is just you looking at things from a universal perspective now. You see things from a higher vantage point. 
You're seeing past the material world. You're not allowing it to cloud your judgment. You're not allowing it to block your third eye and affect how you see yourself, your life, and your reality. What do we have with the solar plexus? Two of swords. Wow. This follows up what I just said perfectly. Libra energy with this two of swords. You definitely see your way forward. You're no longer at this crossroads. You were for quite a while. Some of you still might be. But you are getting ready to break out of this. Two of swords is an energy of confusion, indecision. You don't know which way to go. But this is only because of the energies you've been entertaining. This is where they want you to exist. They want you to exist in this energy of feeling very blocked, very indecisive. It's an energy of you feeling like you need to compromise with demons just to bring some sort of happiness into your life. But knowing on a core level that there's got to be a better way. And you're right, Leo. You're right. You don't need to compromise with demons. We live in a world where we're made to think that this is exactly what we need to do. All the options that we're usually faced with are just as bad as the next. It's really, I guess what I'm trying to say here, Leo, is I feel all your options were presented to you by outside entities. Outs Ooh, entities, huh? I just kind of slipped in there. By outside individuals. And I feel like you finally just kind of had an epiphany. You're like, wait a second. Why don't I just create my own options, my own path? Because none of these options or paths speak to me. They're just as bad as each other. Ah, true leader. This is what this is on this table here. This is somebody who's carving out their own path, taking the power back, realizing that you had the power all along. See how this individual here is wearing these yellow socks? But they're really popping, right? And then this individual is blindfolded as if, as if to say they need to make a decision, like they're at a crossroads, but not realizing that they've had these yellow socks on, which is this person having everything they need within self to carve out their own path. Yellow, relating to the solar plexus, your confidence. Our lives are set up in a way to where we always have to give up our power in some area of our life. But this, this right here is an individual who is pushing back pushing back against the systems that have been placed within their life to keep them restricted and confined. Leo, this is a very controlling energy that you're overcoming, a very horrendous karmic cycle that you've had to close out in your life. What do we have at the heart? What do we have at the heart? Ten of Wands at the heart. I feel like... The picture of this Ten of Wands really speaks about the energy that you've been living in for many years, Leo. Overburdened, stressed out, exhausted, carrying burdens that aren't even yours, but made to think that this is just your lot in life. This is the path that you were meant to take. Leo, you reached your breaking point. Through all this oppression, all this confusion and indecision that these individuals or karmic cycles brought into your life, you started to see how you can come out the other side of success. You started to have this turning point in your outlook. You decided that you were unwilling to take on other people's burdens and stress any longer. You're actually amazed that you did this for as long as you did. It's like it was some sort of spell, some mental conditioning could be. I'm a Leo moon, and I most definitely went through this energy in my own life. I remember very clearly different points in my life at all different ages. These memories are so fresh. I never understood why these memories stayed with me until 
I made it out the other side of this cycle. But I remember all these different points in my life telling myself, it's just my lot in life. This is the life I'm supposed to live, carrying other people's burdens, allowing people to make me think that it was all my fault or that I myself was just a burden. And my life is just going to be me making up for the fact that I was merely born. It's like a parent making you feel like you're a burden. And the way you pay them back is by becoming their servant in some capacity for the duration of your life. You basically having to pay for the fact that they were your vessel into this life cycle. Almost like you were a mistake. But only fools would think that a life is a mistake. Because in God's eyes, every life plays a very specific role. This is the energy of you being individual's karma. You were birthed through these vessels to serve these individuals' karma. So, insane this, Leo. If you feel this way or you've been meant to feel this way, that you are a burden, you are a mistake, that you're just here to serve some other individual for giving you life, something like this, however this shows up for you, just know that it's the absolute opposite. You are here to serve those individuals' karma by stepping into your happiness, your highest vibration, which is your purpose. It is your job, your divinely ordered job in this life cycle, Leo, is to exist in your highest happiness possible. What do we have at the throat? Wow. A lot of energy here. I see a lot of pentacles. I see a tower, some eight of swords. Energy of you breaking free. It's an energy of freedom. Five of pentacles at the throat. Oh, wow. This goes along perfectly with what I was saying. This is the life cycle that they birthed you into. Poverty doesn't have to be financial. Can be, but it's more of just an energy. It's an energy of lack. That you are here to serve other individuals. But not in a divinely ordered way. We're all here in some capacity to serve, but we serve the collective by helping each other, helping humanity. This is an energy here on this table of you being made to think that that you need to serve these individuals to pay for your life. And then you go throughout your life with this energy of lack always surrounding you. This is the energy of generational karma on this table. You are a chain breaker. You are here to break the chains that bind. What do we have at the third eye? Magician. Wow. Right there at the third eye. <sighs> There's two paths on this table, Leo. This Ten of Wands and Five of Pentacles is what you're coming from. Carrying other people's burdens, stress, exhaustion, living under a black cloud, lack mentality, poverty mindset, thinking you don't have the goods to do this or that or whatever it is you want to do in your life. And with this Two of Swords at the Solar Plexus, this is an individual who's at a crossroads, being faced with Two choices, step into your power, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands energy, become the magician that you already are, it's just lying dormant, realize that you have all the elements, wands, swords, which are right there, cups and pentacles, you have all the elements here, they're really emphasizing the elements in this reading. Obviously, the Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords here. But then they're showing us again with the addition of the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, which are on the table there. So it's like the Divine is showing you. Leo, we're going to give you this Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords, show you just how capable you are. And then once you step into your power, we're going to give you the other two elements, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles here. 
Because Leo, you are the magician. The lower you have been made to feel in your life, the less significant you have been made to feel, the bigger your mission in this life really is. So simply put, the lower you are, Leo, the higher you are meant to go. It's all an illusion. It's all meant to keep you stuck, run out those life clock minutes, keep you away from the truth because of your mission and the gargantuan nature of what you're supposed to accomplish in this lifetime by stepping into that mission. This energy on this table is somebody who's being faced. Wow. Look at the way that card just shot out. Somebody who's being faced with a way out. Moon at the crown. It's very important you're trusting your intuition right now. The divine is trying to speak to you. And I feel I'm going back to that message I got surrounding animals, wildlife, mother nature. I feel like mother nature is trying to speak to you right now, Leo. Pay attention. You may have birds looking at you, making eye contact with you. You may be attracting all sorts of things to you right now. Dogs may be drawn to you, cats, something like this. These are all little signs and synchronicities to make you feel more connected to the divine, to remind you of who you are. They're all little things that come together to help wake you up. It's very important you push through the illusions right now, push through the deception and push through the fear and anxiety that these individuals are bringing into your life, however this is showing up for you, Leo. These are all tactics that they've been pre-programmed to use against you. Some of these people may not even know why they treat you the way they do. This means that these individuals are under some sort of demonic possession. It's not your place to illuminate anything to them or, or find some sort of truth or clarity in their treatment towards you. All you're meant to do is leave it behind and take the path that's being opened up for you. What do we have at the foundation, please? Arobas, three of pentacles, Capricorn energy at the foundation. This is an energy of stagnation. It's an energy that's blocking your creativity, blocking these messages that are coming through to you Intuitively, right underneath that Ace of Wands, which is all about your creativity, your passion. It's all about your potential, your creative strength. And here they are, trying to stand right in the way, blocking these messages coming through from the divine. What do we have at the sacral? Too many cards. What do we have the sacral? Four of Wands, Aries Energy, Person at the sacral. More stagnation, more arguments. This is also an energy of moving out. So this may be something you need to do. Maybe you've already done this. But whatever the case, it's just an energy of getting away from people who make you feel this way. You can't manifest when you have people like this around you. Period. And don't wait for these people to move on. You move on. You remove yourself. Remember, these are energies that were assigned to you to keep you out of making this very important decision for yourself, your happiness, your purpose, and your life, Leo. Your life is on the line. If you're being kept away from this energy of purpose, which like I said, is your highest happiness, your highest vibration, then you're not living. You're living in an alternate universe, an alternate timeline than what God had intended for you to begin with. And yes, everything happens in divine order, so you were meant to live out this life cycle. But these life cycles can be dragged on. There is an energy here where the doorway is opening up for you to step into this new timeline and out of this karmic cycle. And I just heard it's happening with the astrology. And it makes sense because for the first time in a long time, there's no planets in retrograde. So Leo, if there's ever been a time in your life to make some huge progress in your life, now's the time. 
we've been under these retrogrades for, I don't know, I, I think the past couple of years. There's always been at least one planet in retrograde. The nodes are still in retrograde, but this is very different. Now's the time, Leo. Now's the time to make a move. Astrologically, the universe is on your side, Leo. What do we have at the solar plexus? Page of Swords, Bootus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy at the solar plexus. Leo, these energies are always going to be plotting on you because of the nature of your purpose. It's like they hate you and they don't even know why. There's just a light inside of you that irritates them. But these people are all talk, no action. They don't actually deliver on any of their promises or any of the things that they say they're going to do in their life. They're just meant to keep you inside this cycle of stagnation. That's their whole purpose. The whole purpose in life is to stagnate you. They really are agents of the matrix. Their whole purpose is to keep you in this energy of two of swords forever. Always in an energy of indecision. What do we have at the heart? And then we have Fornius, which is the Six of Cups, Fruitless Labor, Scorpio energy at the heart. This is an energy that wants you to live in the past and makes you feel like your expectations for yourself are unrealistic. But if you see here, this person has a planter's peanut for head. They don't even have an identity, right? But they want to tell you how to live your life and who you are and who you are not. This is a very lethargic energy, Leo that will always be who they are. I feel like this is the type of person that will always bring up your shortcomings, maybe mistakes you made in the past, as a means to chip away your self-confidence, make you feel like you're not good enough for this or that, something like this. But as long as you're entertaining these energies, you will never actually see any growth in your life. Fruitless labor. So what this is telling me is that even if you decided to focus on your life, your happiness, your purpose, with these energies still around, you wouldn't get anywhere. You'd be spinning your wheels. And I know that energy so well because I avoided trying to cut people out of my life or just going my own way. It's hard to do that. But it really is the only way, Leo, when it comes to this kind of path that is opening up for you. Because there's too much at risk. These energies will always pull you back into the same karmic cycle. And then you'll just keep repeating these energies year after year, decade after decade. You're being called to move on. Carve out your own path. Go your own way. <sighs> wow. Oh, male. Ace of Wands. So we have two Ace of Wands on this table. Fertility and Multiplicity. Aries, Leo, Sag energy again. <sighs> Leo, there's a huge emphasis around new beginnings on this table. Some sort of uh, new project or some sort of energy that you're feeling very inspired to move towards. Something like this. Very enthusiastic energy. Some of you, I feel, are confused, two of swords at the solar plexus, if you should do this. I feel like this opportunity is right here, right now, or it's coming up. You need to take this, Leo, however this is, show however this is showing up in your life. And this is the energy that's going to stand in the way. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, Leo, don't, you don't need to do that. Uh, unbelievable. What do we have at the throat? Seven of Cups, a Sheila. Scorpio energy. God, the just judge. Contemplation. Makes the truth known in legal proceedings. And here you are. You mean to tell me that I wasted all my time in that karmic cycle? With those demons? Yes, Leo. But you didn't really waste any time. 
like I said, everything happens in a divine order, but you can be at risk for stretching out this karmic cycle if you don't take this opportunity. Now's the time. It's go time. The illusions are coming to an end. The energy is very good for you right now. It's very positive and happy and high vibrational. You guys could be feeling more energy lately. This is all because of the astrology. You're just feeling happy. Now's the time to get things done. Start making moves towards building this new life for yourself. Just carve out your own path and get moving, Leo. These energies want to keep you in a place of confusion so you can't see your way forward, so you waste more life clock minutes. What do we have in the third eye? Page of Swords again. So we have it twice now. But this is the positive polarity. Ha ha ia. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, God, the refuge, governs dreams and reveals mysteries hidden from mortals. And here you are, these individuals having to watch you now as you step into this new timeline. They can't say anything anymore. That blindfold that was once over your eyes, keeping you in this place of confusion, so you can't make a decision, so you can't see your way forward, is now over their mouth. They can't say anything. The divine shutting them up as they watch you. See, this person's like on the cover of a paper or a magazine. Which is telling me this person is going to have to see you move into your highest happiness. This energy of purpose. It's a part of their karma. What do we have with the crown? The lovers. Gemini energy. Haniel. Joy of God. Joy and pleasure brings happiness to couples, removes negative energy. <sighs> Perfect way to end this reading here, Leo. This is an energy of balance. It's an energy of alignment. It's an energy of union. This is you aligning, calibrating with your highest self. It's like your higher self comes online and rescues you starts to steer the ship, pulls you out of this karmic cycle. It's like a rescue mission. Pulls you into the new life cycle. And for you Leos out there that are single, when you step into this new life cycle, when you step into this new path, however this is showing up for you, there is an energy here of some sort of divinely ordered connection with this lovers at the crown this is being hidden from you you align with this connection in your life once you step into your power you become the vibrational match of this individual leo there's a lot of power in this reading and this ace of wands is also your energy so it is here for you leo and now's the time go after it don't waste any time leo your ship's are coming in. So pack your bags, however that shows up for you, whether it's literally moving or spiritually speaking. Whatever the case, Leo, however this resonates for you, I'm sure you'll know how to place this in your life. Leo, this is the energy that's available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Leo. Take care.